Let's now discuss about capacitors in parallel and capacitors in series. So this diagrammatic representation is emphasizing about the capacitor in terms of series and in terms of parallel. Considering capacitor in a series, we need to consider three capacitors which have been named as C1, C2 and C3 that is connected in series. Let V be the potential difference applied across the series combination. So each capacitor carries the same amount of charge that is plus Q because it has been connected in series. Let V1, V2 and V3 be the potential difference across the capacitors C1, C2 and C3 respectively. So this can be mentioned in terms of equation as V equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. So the potential difference across each capacitor is V1 equal to Q by C1 V2 equal to Q by C2 whereas V3 equal to Q divided by C3. Summing up the value we will be having the potential difference V equal to Q by C1 plus Q by C2 plus Q by C3. From this we can take out Q which is the common term in numerator part in all the cases. So now V equal to Q multiplied by 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. So if Cs be the effective capacitance of the series combination, it should acquire a charge Q when a voltage V is applied across it. That is given as V equal to Q divided by Cs. Now Q by Cs will be equal to Q divided by C1 plus Q divided by C2 plus Q divided by C3. Since Q is quite common in all the cases, we can also rewritten this as 1 by Cs equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. When a number of capacitors are connected in series, the reciprocal of the effective capacitance is said to be equal to the sum of reciprocal of the capacitance of the individual capacitor. Hope you got an idea of series capacitor. Now let's discuss about the capacitors in parallel combination. So as we discussed, we need to consider three capacitors in the same way for a series combination. So capacitor C1, C2, C3 are over here, which you can see it very clearly that is connected in a parallel combination. Let this parallel combination will be connected to a potential difference V. So the potential difference across each capacitor will be same. Now the charges on these three capacitors are Q1 equal to C into V, Q2 equal to C2 into V and Q3 equal to C3 into V. Now the total charge in the system of capacitor is Q equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Substituting the value, we will be getting Q equal to C1V plus C2V plus C3V. Since it's a capacitor of parallel combination, Q will be CP into V, where CP is indicating the effective capacitance of the parallel, cap parallel system. So from this, therefore, we can yield CP into V equal to substituting the values, that is, Considering the equation and solving it will be V into C1 plus C2 plus C3. Since on both the cases V is common, we can just cancel it off. Therefore, we will be getting Cp equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3. Hence, the effective capacitance of a capacitor that has been connected in parallel is the sum of the capacitance of the individual capacitor.